Hey y'all, this is is great coming to you on this Saturday. So, y'all seen this debacle dealing with the baby and some married woman. Woman calls out the baby for allegedly asking a friend to hook them up despite knowing that she's married. I'm silent and can't be impressed by any man except my husband. Alright, you see, apparently the baby had the woman send these messages to her where he discussed how cute she is. You see, hey boo, I have an important message for you. Then his message to his friend discussing the married woman. I need, I need your, you time. I, I can't read that. <coughs> so this is my second time seeing her. That's a sign, right? LOL dude, let me see her. All right, his friend's response to his message. She's cute. I don't, I don't, I don't know what dude's right that. Okay, I'll do it. I'm going to show her this. Oh, it was um, a female friend. My fault, my fault. I'm not about to read all this. I'm going to read the first little bit. All right, this Miss L.A. Truth. PSA announcement. I don't play about my marriage. The ultimate disrespect for me is to have someone who steps in, in your DM who, one, not only knows you're married, two, was in the midst of doing business with my husband, three, I ain't nobody's bitch, and four, they respect my husband and my marriage. Some people would say you should just ignore it, but nah. This is the ultimate disrespect. I can't look past my profile. Clearly says Miss Mrs. L.A. Truth and my husband is Love Truth. The person your team has spoken to plenty of times. He went behind my husband's back and sent a woman to do his dirty work and hoping it wouldn't get back to my husband and thought I would keep it on the hush hush because of who you are. Nah, I'm not one of them. All right, that's how far I'm going to read. Y'all can pause it and read it for yourselves. All right. Here goes the bass. Oh, sweet. Whichever one of you graphic designer niggas took my name in that blue shit and created that fake-ass motherfucking DM, making it look like I'm out just trying to slide on some other white DM. You dead fucking wrong, nigga. You dead wrong, nigga. And I don't even talk like that, nigga. Pick up on my lingo a little better next time, you know what I'm saying? And then maybe it'll make some bigger blog sites. Just pick up on my lingo a little bit and make it sound a little bit more like me. But all in all, man, look, I'm be using my motherfucking face to play with. No motherfucking married couple, nigga. Niggas ain't playing by this shit. Niggas is living and dying by this shit, niggas. So don't put my face on that, nigga. Don't put them type problems on my plate. You know what I'm saying? Love that. All right, y'all heard his response. I want to hear the rest of it. But here's another thing. Why you wearing a mask in your own car? All right, all right, all right. Let's get back. Let's get back. All right. Woman who initially told told a married woman that the baby was interested in her claims the wife only went off because her husband called her. All right. Apparently, after learning the baby was allegedly into her, she slid her number over and po only posted the lengthy message after being caught by her husband. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next day. Now. I'm going to read some of this, and I'm going to pause it right quick for y'all to get a little look at it. All right. It says, someone who is trying to make his baby mama believe he ain't do it is mad because now his baby mamas was exposed to the truth. So now it's damage control and his team trying to help him fix it for the public. Ain't no graphic designer going out their way to send someone who doesn't follow me or know me from a can of paint to create messages for little old me. He got exposed and denied on the public platform. I would deny if it was me too. Who the fuck wants to be known at his status publicly being embarrassed and denied? The person who sent these those messages also sent these same messages to his baby mama with my husband's phone number. He had plenty of time to address this with my husband. I said what I said and I'm living in my truth. Ain't nobody going to bully me to take no post down. That's the truth. I ain't never had to lie about a damn thing. And she wrote and she put another post beside someone who's innocent isn't gonna send threats. Alright. Nothing happened, we good. We know what happened and what the pamper did. I'm not explaining to these trolls anything in the comments. They really mad because I declined the pamper. We're those. Girl. Alright. This is the last time I'm addressing this. No, I don't owe him no apology. It was him. The phone call that was had this morning was nothing like what his publicist told him to get up here and say. 
Phone call recorders stay tuned for the truth. Someone who's innocent ain't sending no threats. Someone who's innocent would have reached out to my husband personally and said it wasn't him. He didn't. Instead, he had his baby mama call to defend him and later hop on the phone with my husband to send threats. Y'all can fall for the BS if you want to. It wasn't no damn graphic designer. All right, I'll show y'all that. All right. All right, then this, this is the last, yeah, that last, last post right here. All right. So, you see right here, whoever Mika is. All right, be real. The message from the baby will Photoshop, and they won't, and, and I won't tell. LMAO, dude, honestly, I don't even know him. People are very good, but I didn't even expect him to open my DM. That same woman just admitted the DMs were not real. Shaking my head. She's sad for that. And then La Truth wrote, Social media has gotten really spooky, and these people who have nothing to lose be plotting trying to destroy people's lives. I really don't understand why me, my wife, and the baby were targeted by this lady. Well, you were targeted, but this lady needs to be removed from social media. Excuse me for um, pausing on that. This is a lesson learned on our end because we all got our feelings involved over some chick creating drama who has nothing to lose. Me and my wife personally would like to apologize to the to the baby and anybody else affected in this situation. We were all blindsided. Okay, let me read the caption. Married couple apologize to the baby after private messages suggest that the woman who said the baby was interested in the man's wife made the entire thing up. This coming days after the wife claimed she had recorded a conversation of she and the baby talking that will prove this was all true. A mess. So, basically, this couple were cloud chasing and stuff like that. That's what I'm taking from it. And it's just like, I, I don't I am not a, um, the baby defender. I don't care for this man. He's boring. And troublesome, but it just goes to show y'all that these people want people want attention so bad that they're willing to sit up here and make a whole scene out of nothing. Now y'all gotta uh, backtrack and apologize. Like really, y'all, it's not that damn serious. Like it's just dumb. And now you got people going into your business, and now people gonna be questioning your marriage and everything like that. But this time around, the baby, you cool. You cool. They ain't got nothing to do with you. Like, sometimes I think people is trying to use him to stir up some more controversy because he's a controversial figure. You know, whatever. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please stop clout chasing. It's, it's not healthy for you or the people around you because at the end of the day, eventually the truth going to come out. You're going to look the fool. So this has been Octavius the Great. I hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And I will get with y'all later. Holla.